Hi everyone, it's Lisa here. Welcome back to Crochet with Lisa. Today I'm going to show you how I crocheted this hot pad. It is double thick, so it's pretty safe to lay a hot pot or bowl on top of this. It's crocheted with 100% cotton yarn. And the cotton yarn that I used for this project is Bernat Handicrafter yarn. This is a holiday brand, so it's got this little sparkly detail through it. It is a medium weight of four, and the red that I used also has this sparkly thread going through it, but you can certainly do it just with a plain cotton yarn. I used a five millimeter crochet hook. The only other things you would need would be scissors and a yarn needle. So once you have all your supplies, let's get started. So I'm gonna start with the white, and this is crocheted in a corner to corner pattern. So if you've never done corner to corner before, just follow along, it's not too difficult. So first thing, we'll put a slip knot Then we're going to chain six. We're going to go down to the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four. We're going to do a double crochet in there. We're going to put one in the fifth chain, double crochet, and a double crochet in the third or the sixth chain from the hook. So you should have a little block like this, and over on this end we have our space from that chain three. The tail is here at the bottom. We're going to chain six. And again, we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna to go to the fourth, fifth, and sixth chain from the hook and put a double crochet in each one of those. So we've made another little block. Now we're gonna take this first block that we made Remember, this is our chain three space over here. So on the other end of where the tail is, I'm just gonna turn that. We're gonna slip stitch into that chain three space. So now we've joined those two blocks. Pay attention to where your tail is. It should be right there. So after that slip stitch into that chain three space, we're going to chain three, and then put three double crochets in that chain three space. So we've done two rows or a corner to corner. Our first row has one block, our second row has two blocks. So we're going to take our work and turn it. Kind of looks like a little heart. Now we're going to chain six. Put a double crochet in your fourth, fifth, and sixth chain from the hook. So your work should still be here on the left side. Right at the top of this block here, you should see a chain three space. Slip stitch in there, 
chain three, and then put three double crochets in that space. Now we're gonna to come to our next block to the left. At the top of that block, there should also be a chain three space. Slip stitch in there. Chain three. And then put three double crochets into that same space, that chain three space. So we have two of our rows done. We're going to turn our work, chain six, put a double crochet in fourth, fifth, and sixth chain. and the work is on the left, we can see the chain three spaces at the top. So we just slip stitch into them, chain three, and then three double crochet into that same space. Do that to each one all along, slip stitch into the chain three space, chain three, and then put three double crochets into that space. Here is my last one, and a slip stitch, chain three. And then put three double crochets. So if we can see on this block, we've got one, two, three, four blocks along this side. One, two, three, four blocks along this side. So we're going to turn our work. Now these squares are four by four. So we've increased to four, now we're going to decrease. So usually for corner to corner, you would just slip stitch into the top of these double crochets. But we're doing join as you go corner to corner. So it's a little bit different at this point. So what we're gonna do instead is chain three and then slip stitch into that chain three space. Chain three. And then three double crochets into this chain three space. So what we did not do on this one was a chain six. So we just did a chain three and then we joined it to that chain three space. After our three double crochets, then we're going to go to the next block. I'm going to slip stitch in there, chain three, and then put three double crochets. We're going to come over to our next one, slip stitch, chain three, three double crochets.
Then when we get to the end here, here's our chain three space. We don't want to add another block here, so we're just going to slip stitch in there. Chain three. And turn our work there. So we've got our chain three. We're just going to come over here and slip stitch into this chain three space. So chain three, three double crochets. Find our next chain three space, slip stitch in there, chain three, three double crochet. Slip stitch into this chain three space. Now we're not putting another block there, so we're going to chain three. Might be easier to see it though if you turn your work. Chain three. We've got one block left to put in here. So right here we've got our chain three space. Slip stitch in there. Chain three. Put our three double crochets. slip stitch into this chain three space. Now we still want to end over here so we are going to just turn chain three and then slip stitch into this chain three space. So we'll just snip our yarn there and we'll fasten off. Sometimes it just takes pulling at these sides a little bit. Just to get the stitches in the right spot in those chain three spaces. So our first square is done. Okay, now we're ready for our second color. When we look at this first square, here is our starting tail. This is our ending tail. We can tell this is our ending one because we've got a chain three here and a chain three there. We're gonna need those to be in the middle of our block, so right in there. So the starting tail should be down here. And we're gonna go up, straight up. We're gonna start in this corner. So we're just gonna go into that chain three you can tie it here if you want. Okay, so then we're going to do chain three. So we're going to slip stitch in between these two blocks. Chain three. Turn your work. This is the chain three that we first made with our red. We're going to put three double crochets under that. So we have our first red block made. So let's turn our work back this way. Chain six. So in our fourth, fifth, and sixth chain, we're going to put a double crochet. We're going to come down to that first red block, slip stitch into that chain three. Then we're going to chain three and put three double crochets in that same space. We're 
we're going to come over between our next two blocks. We're just going to slip stitch in there, chain three. We're going to come over between our next two blocks and we are going to slip stitch in there. Chain three, turn the work again. Now under that chain three that we made down here, we're going to put three double crochets. So we're just going to work along this side in the usual way. Slip stitch into our chain three, chain three, and then put three double crochets in there. Do that once again over here. Can turn our work. We're in the chain six. And then we'll do a double crochet in the fourth, fifth, and sixth chain. We'll work down along this side as usual, and then I'll meet you right here. I'm just at the end of this row. I've done four blocks, and I'm going to slip stitch in this chain three space that's at the side of this block. Chain three, turn your work, then you're going to slip stitch into this chain three space. We'll continue along this side as usual, then I'll meet you up here to make sure that you're not going to add another block. Okay, I'm getting to the end of this row and I have one, two, three blocks made on this side. Just going to join it with a slip stitch to the top of this one. Now I'm going to chain three. Turn my work. Slip stitch into the block that's next to it, into this chain three space. just adjust our stitches there. There we go. Chain three. And put three double crochets into that chain three space. Okay, I'll meet you at the end of this side. I'm at the end of this side. There were only two blocks. So I've just finished that second block and I'm going to slip stitch into the chain three over here. Chain three, turn the work, and we've just got one more block to make here. So we're gonna slip stitch into this chain three space. chain three and put our three double crochets in there. Slip stitch into our chain three. Chain three, turn our work. And we're just going to slip stitch into this chain three. Snip the yarn, fasten off. So here we have two of our blocks together. 
we're going to put our third one, the next red one over here. All right, we're ready to put our third block on. It's going to be red again. So we're just going to go here to the middle between the red and the white. We're going to go in, grab our yarn, I always like to tie it so we'll chain three I'm going to come to the left and go between these two blocks slip stitch Now I'm not going to go through all of this one with you because it is exactly the same as this one. I just showed you where you would join it, but if you follow the instructions for how to crochet this red block, it's going to be the same thing for this red block. Okay, so I will meet you back here when you have the second red block crocheted. I have my third block done. And so now I'm ready for the last one. So I'm going to take my white. I'm going to go through the middle section right here. I always like to tie my yarn. So I'm going to chain three. I'm going to come over here between these two blocks. Slip stitch. Chain three. I'm just going to turn the work. Under that white chain three, that first chain three, put three double crochets. Now we're going to come over here to this other side. So we've joined this white block on this red block. We're going to come to this one over here between these two red blocks. We're going to put a slip stitch. chain three then we're going to come come between the next two red blocks and put a slip stitch chain three let's turn our work again under this white chain three we'll put three double crochets I'm going to come to that first white block we just made, find that chain three space there, slip stitch, make our chain three, and then the three double crochets into that chain three space. Okay, so we're going to have to join this white block over here. So between this red block and this one, so between the second and the third, we'll slip stitch, chain three. Now we're going to go between the third and the fourth block, slip stitch, chain three again. I'm going to turn our work. So we've got these first two rows done. Now we're going to work on our third row. So three double crochets under that chain three. We'll keep working along this row. I'll meet you right here. So I'm just at the end of the row and I've got one, two, three white blocks. And I'm going to join it between my third and fourth red block 
with a slip stitch. Chain three. Now we're going to look for that chain three space at the end of the red block. Slip stitch. Chain three. Turn our work. We're going to work all the way down here. I'll meet you at the end of this row. Just getting to the end of this row. So this is our four block row. One, two, three, four. And over here we're just going to slip stitch to that red block, the chain three at the end of the red block. So we'll chain three and now we're starting our decrease. Turn our work, slip stitch into this chain three. Work along this row, you're going to have three blocks. Next row will be two and then one block. Then I'll meet you back here when your white block is finished. All four blocks are finished, so we need to make another one exactly the same as this. Also, um, weave in all of your ends. If you look at your project here, you can decide, let's say this is going to be the back, so weave in all your ends on this side, and then leave this side for your right side because our project is double thick. You can make sure that when you weave in the ends, just in case something pokes out, it will be on the inside. So I'll meet you back here when you have both of these finished and your ends have been woven in. I have my two squares finished and I have my ends all woven in. I've laid one over the other one, matching the colors. So I'm going to do my border in red. So I'm going to join it in my red area. So here we have got one, two, three, four sets of blocks. So I'm just going to go between, I guess, the third and the fourth block here in the front, third and the fourth block in the back. I'm going to pull the yarn through and then I'm going to tie it. Just going to go back through that space, pull back a loop, I'm going to chain one, then I'm going to single crochet into that same space. Your single crochets will be a little looser than usual to accommodate that extra bulk. So chain two, I'm going to go between the next two blocks on the front and in the back and single crochet. Chain two. I'm going to go between the next set of blocks on the front and at the back and single crochet. Chain two. We're at the corner now. So through the corner we're going to single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same corner space. So chain two, now we're coming along the next side. So between our first and second block on this side, on the front and on the back, just going to do a single crochet, chain two, in our next two blocks. Okay, so you're going to continue that all the way around. Then I'll meet you back here where we began this round. Okay, so I'm just getting to the end of this round. I've done my last two chains and I'm going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that I made. Chain two. This chain two takes the place of a double crochet. In this chain two space here, we're going to put two double crochets. On top of this single crochet, we're going to put a double crochet. 
in this chain two space, two double crochets. On the next single crochet, we'll put a double crochet. And in the chain two space, two double crochets. Okay, we're almost at the corner. So in this single crochet, we'll put a double crochet. Now in the corner, we're gonna do three double crochets. So that's the only place that we're going to do something different is in that corner section. Instead of two double crochets, we'll put three double crochets in that chain space. Okay, so we'll continue all the way around following in that same pattern. Then I'll meet you back here where we began this round. I'm just at the end of this round made my last two double crochets in there and I'm just going to slip stitch at the top of that chain, that beginning chain we had. Just fasten off. Just have to weave in this last end. So I have woven in my ends and my hot pad is complete. I hope you enjoyed following along with this tutorial today and you found it easy to follow. Maybe you might want to check out this placemat that I did with uh, the same pattern of corner to corner. So you can check that out in my playlist of Christmas. My plan is to get a set of these placemats finished. I've got my two hot pads and getting ready for Christmas. So please like my video, subscribe to my channel, and you can follow along with some other great projects. So have a great day and happy crocheting.